Wine of the Week is a weekly award we do where we kind of point the finger at something that just seems silly or outrageous that's happening in our world. So, this week, this is not a news story, but it's a story that keeps getting updated and it's causing a little bit of frustration. It's all about airbags. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but there is a company that is one of the major manufacturers of airbags. It's called Takata. It's a Japanese firm, though I think the whole company is very international. Well, apparently their side airbags have a little issue where if humidity builds up, there's a good chance that the force that causes the airbag to be sent out could have problems and might send shrapnel into the passenger compartment. Not a good thing. It turns out that this is very sad. Eight people have died as a result of this and more than 100 have been injured. So this is a major concern. There is kind of a recall going on because this affects 11 different makes of cars. That's just makes like BMW and Honda. You have all the models below that. Right now we're looking at about 19 million cars that have airbags that may have some very serious trouble. So you would think, okay, we got airbags that are sending shrapnel at people. Let's get this fixed as soon as possible. Well, it just seems that it's not happening because just the other day, all right, time for my usual drink of water. Just the other day, <coughs> obviously the water did not work out too well today. Just the other day, a report came out. We're looking at roughly 23 million airbags that need to be replaced. <clears throat> this is live TV at its very best. It's one of those days. Okay, so just the other day, 23 million airbags in 19 million cars. That gives you an idea of the scope of the problem. Okay, so 23 million airbags. Less than a fifth of them had been really fixed in any way, shape, or form. And of those, a lot of them aren't even a permanent fix. Now, this came from our National Transportation Agency, which is kind of overseeing this process. But in general, if you've known for almost a year that your airbags could harm someone, that could cause them real damage and real problems, wouldn't you want to kind of jump on that problem right away? Apparently not. Now, I don't know if the problem is that it takes a long time to make airbags or coming up with a solution is harder than you think, but you got to do something. You can't just leave millions of people driving cars where the airbag could be a major safety concern. Now, I don't understand what the problem is with our transportation authorities, and I'm just moving up my notes a little bit. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, they're the people who are kind of overseeing this a little bit. They're having issues too with this problem. It wasn't that long ago that they believed that over 30 million cars were affected. Now it's more, or excuse me, 30 million airbags were affected. Now it's more like 23 million. They seem as confused as I am. How are they not able to count this problem? There's also been some talk that perhaps they should put this recall on some sort of fast track. Makes sense to me. Why not do it like that? But that discussion, that started in June, in May. It's September. People are driving around with potentially dangerous airbags. We shouldn't be waiting so long to fix this problem. So I know it's kind of complicated and sometimes it's harder to swallow the information on certain problems than others, but it just seems that a company that makes airbags should have thought ahead of time about how this problem could be addressed and solved. Because somewhere they must have realized, gee, what would we ever do if our airbags proved to be dangerous to people? Hmm, how would we handle a recall or a fix on that? You know, they should have thought of that. And it turns out, I don't think they have. And our National Transportation Safety Administration people, they should have been on this too. They should be saying, okay, uh, airbag supplier, you need to step up. You need to be doing a little bit more. We need to fix this problem. We want to hear your plans on Monday. It doesn't seem like this is happening. It seems like everyone's taking a very casual attitude towards safety. I don't know about you, but if I get into a car, I want to make sure that if the airbags are going to be going off, they're not going to be hitting me with metal, that I can go in with my car, if there's a problem, to get it fixed. I realize certain changes can't happen overnight. 
Maybe it takes time to produce all those airbags, the ones that will have to replace it. Maybe they have to have special testing. But if you're selling the product, you need to be able to make sure it works. So they are the winer of the week. For more about this award and everything else, you want to take a look at some of the past winers of the week, go to my website, kenokel.com. It is just like my username. Easy to find, easy to check out. In the meantime, I may be back in a few days with some productivity tips. Also, I might be giving you some video tips as well. We're doing a bit of a potpourri. If you miss any of these things, you want to catch up with them later, you know, Periscope saves it for 24 hours. But then after that, you can go over to a website called catch.me, K-A-T-C-H dot M-E. My Periscopes are also archived there if you want to look at that account. So why of the week, I'm mad about airbags because people shouldn't have to worry about whether they're going to be working, hurting themselves, and they want to have peace of mind that they should know that they're being fixed. All right, so interesting broadcast today. The water part didn't go so well, but I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Ken Okel. Take care. <laughs>